Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting functionality or use case where we can track all the user IDs which are logging into the IDD application as well as which are logging out of IDD application. In, in day to day activities, various users log into the application. Particularly, I am talking about the Informatica data director that is IDD application. Having audit mechanism will help for the security perspective. So we can monitor whether the users are logging or auth authenticate users or not. Also are they supposed to log in or not or someone is wrongly using someone's ID. So those kind of activities we can monitor. But how can we do that? In the log file, we, we can see that uh, some users are logged in, but it is not consistent across the all the log set. So there is a way to monitor all the users which are logged in and using the added application. So in order to demonstrate that, we have created some base object for the sample. So these are a few sample like customer, party, etc. We also went to the uh, users section in the configuration and we created few users also such as James manager and test user. So these are the user we are uh, going to use for testing purpose. Then the next important thing is we have to configure the logging mechanism because we want to log all those users which are using the added application right so what we have to do we have to go to this location hub server con remember this location because this is the location where we have to put the uh, put the configuration and open this log4j xml file i will just click on right click and open it here what we can see is the very first thing i will show you this is the default configuration you will see in those in this log file which is provided by Informatica. You will see the couple of things, the rolling file adapter, as well as they have the console adapter. Normally we use the rolling file adapter where the logs are generated for the clean server and the hub server. Once just below this configuration after the console console adap ad uh, appender, we don't use the console uh, appender. But th this is the provision from the log4j. If you want, you can use it. For logging the user which are using the added application, we have to create a logging tracker, right? So what we have to do is we have to create another login appender by using the rolling file appender. We have to provide the path of file. You can use the existing file, but I would recommend to create a separate file that will be easy to track the users. Of course, we can give the backup index as well as the f each file size and the, the, the mode in which you want to log the information, whether it's a debug mode or info mode or error mode. You can put any mode whatever you want. Next thing we need to configure is the layout. What type of information you want to put in the logger, like the date and the information, etc., which is very basic about the log4j. After that, we have to configure two categories. The very first category we have to configure is com.sapin.dsaapp.common.util.login logger. This is one of the um, uh, category we have to put and the second category is com.cyperin.sam.authentication.jas.gndi login module because if you see this is required uh, to invoke the appender for the login tracker so th these are the two categories we need to add this is the uh, the appender we need to add once we add this configuration next time when a user log into our application added application that user will be maintained in the log file or logged into the log file so this once you done with these changes restart your application server and we'll see that how it works 
So if you see the fourth of login file is inside log folder. So I'll just go there and see if the log file is already generated because we we created. I'll do one thing. I'll go here. I'll open it because I already used the application. So you'll see the multiple entries. I'll just remove it. Let's try to save it. Now this this should be empty file. Let me go back and see. Now the file is size is zero. I'll just open and show you guys. Now you can see the file is empty. Next thing is we are going to use the ID application. So this is the ID application. And I'll just click login. And let's see what happens. So I just logged into the PDD config. Let me close it and open this file. So you can see the admin user logged in. So I have not logged out. So that's the reason there is no entry. I just logged in. What I'll do, I will open this application. This is the ID application which we created. I will go here and instead of admin user, let me use the other user like test user. And let's try to pass this password and click enter. So I have logged into the IDD configuration tool with admin user. I like I logged into the IDD application with the test user. Let's see this. Uh, let me open this again. So here I can see. So admin user logged out. So as soon as you open the new application, the original application log gets logged out that is the way the application is designed and now i can access the added application with the test user okay so we can see this entry if you want to use another added application right so i want to use this application but with a different user let's see what happens i will use like uh, let me so it will it will automatically log in Okay, so you can see the test user already login because I use that. If you want to use the other user, you have to first log out. And let me use the James Manager and let's see how it works. So James Manager is logged now. And I will reopen this file. Let's see. Now it says test user has logged out of out of the ID application, admin logged out of the ID application because um, uh, that is the way it does. It if there is default is admin that will try to log in, so it is just trying to make sure it's logged out. And the James manager is logged into the ID application. So by this way, we can actually manage um, see how how long this each user was logged in right so you can see this we can add uh, the logging mechanism like the thread id etc which will give us which thread is controlling this uh, information right so th these are the things so so each thing is happening in this session so, so you can see here thread 2 thread 5 thread 6 right so let me try to log out and let's let's see what happens so i'll just click and log out so i clicked that log out I'll close this file, go to this file location and we'll open this file. Now I can see this James manager user is logged out of the added application. So this is the way you can monitor what are the users logged in. So if suppose there are admin users are not supposed to use the added application then we'll capture that information in this log file and we'll notify to the team saying that there is a security constraint or a security issue happen so that they will stay away from using this uh, user IDs. So normally this will be helpful in your development time because many users are get created in the development environment and they use it not properly. So if you enforce some logic or control uh, and monitoring process it will be helpful to monitor the project and maintain the project properly i hope this simple tutorial but very helpful in real time is going to 
definitely benefit you in your MDM knowledge. Uh, I hope you are enjoying my tutorials. If you have any questions or queries, you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video. You can also check out my blogger which is mentioned at the bottom uh, where I will be updating this information so that you don't have to type every time you can just copy and paste this information okay I think uh, this is for today's session keep watching this space have a nice time bye bye